what made you decide to join the army in the war? Well, first of all, there was conscription. Uh, and uh, I was, first of all, I, I decided I would be a, um, a conscientious objector. That was my first feeling about the war. So I went along and registered as a conscientious objector. Then I, I was watching the news, you know, and the Germans were being terribly successful and it was Nazism. So I suddenly had a terrible feeling of conscience that I had no right to be a conscientious objector. They, the Germans were there, they were, they, were, they were massacring the Jews, putting them in gas chambers and so on and so forth. So I decided to volunteer and it made a news item in the newspaper because uh, the news, there's a small item in the newspaper which says Litvinov joins up, but not the Commissar, because Litvinov, Maxim Litvinov, was a foreign uh, minister of the Soviet Union. So, so that was, <laughs> I got into print as Litvinov joins up, not the foreign, not the co Commissar. <coughs> Oh, absolutely, no question about it. You know, you, 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 I, you, you couldn't. I felt that I couldn't sort of not uh, join the army. Yeah. When you look back at your time in the army, did you feel very lucky to survive? I was very lucky in the army altogether, yes, because, um, uh, you see, because I wore glasses and I had the name Litvinov, they put me in the Pioneer Corps. And the Pioneer Corps was the corps which, uh, but, you know, did the sort of heavy lifting and so on and so forth, things like that. And therefore it was, it had no glamour attached to being in the Pioneer Corps. Um, now I decided, apart from anything else, that it was utterly boring. We were doing, I was in Northern Ireland and we were uh, working in, in, in military um, stores, you know, carting boxes around and things. Uh, so I decided that I didn't like this. So, so I decided to apply for a commission. Now the reason I, I was selected was I, because had I, had they known that I had never had an education beyond elementary school, I wouldn't have stood a chance. So I said I went to my brothers uh, foundation, um, grammar school, Parliament's Foundation. I, I stole that from one of my brothers and uh, as a result of that they sent me to an officer training course. Uh, but apart from the fact that I was very clever, I mean, you know, and, I, and they, I'd, I'd, I'd achieved a kind of notoriety as a kind of barrack room lawyer. Um, uh, I had insisted, for example, that uh, we, we, we were in Northern Ireland at the time, that myself and two other Jews in our unit were entitled to, on, the, on the Saturday, to have our, to go to our, our religious services in Belfast. And we used to go off, and of course we never went anywhere near. <laughs> I was clever that sort of way, in that way. <clears throat> so later on you travelled and you went to Sierra Leone. Was how, what was your time there like? Uh, it was it was it was great. I became first of all I had to get I was commissioned. I went there as a, a second lieutenant, um, and uh, then I be, I was I became a lieutenant because after a certain length of time as a second lieutenant, you automatically became a full lieutenant. Um, I was lucky to go to uh, West Africa because uh, it was known as the white man's grave and uh, it was, uh, pe people used to go sick very quickly and they had all sorts of things like foot rot and they actually used to have to carry people off in wicker cages because of the, you know, the skin diseases that they would get there. I was very healthy, nothing had ever happened to me. But because I was in West Africa, I got promoted eventually to be a ma being a major. So that was quite useful. Um, what, when you 
look back at this, was there a part of the war that you really hated and that you didn't like at all? Uh, I had a good war, actually. I don't, you know, I mean, I can't say that I hated anything. I mean, I was, as far as I was concerned, I was lucky. I, after a while, and fa fairly quickly, I became an officer. Um, I was lucky in where they sent me to. They sent me to originally to Sierra Leone, and uh, although most it was known as the white man's grave, and lots of people used to get sick there, I never got sick. I was as fit as anything. And then went to the Middle East, and that was very interesting to be in Egypt and uh, Alexandria and so on and so forth. In other words, I had a good war.